Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy the Cinemax BL here and today we're bringing you guys is my 400 subscriber special as and it is my updated gaming setup. Uh, it's not going to be my whole room tour because uh, last time my gaming setup was over here and I gave a whole room tour of all this. But now it's only going to be where my gaming setup is which is, which is in this back room. But if you guys haven't seen my face before, this is my face. Hello! I was just seeing a uh, red pop school so see. That's why my must be red and it's in there so just in case if it melts while I do this video. But when you walk in, you get this nice carpet floor. So it's a nice hard floor. It's carpet. Uh, it's really warm here in the summer. Then um, in the winter, it's still warm in here, which is nice. Um, but I really like it back here. It's where I get my own privacy. But you guys are probably wondering, like, what the hell is this? Well, this is well this is the box it's a tp link expand your wi-fi network it's a t it's by tp link it's a 300 mbps universal wi-fi range extender um i got this for like 30 40 bucks um so basically if i was just connected straight from wi-fi um in my back room would be 27 download but now when i have this and this this is its own wireless network but it's connected to my wireless router downstairs so this is called anthony's room because my name is anthony and this is my room the one downstairs is like something else um... but so basically to set it up you'd have to like um... set up near your, so you'd have to go to this website and do all that but this connects to my router and it's plugged in and an outlet so i get like 50 to 60 download instead of 27, so it really boosts it. An Ethernet cable goes all the way to my Xbox, so it's even faster. And you know, I'd recommend getting this if you have slow internet on like the top level of your home. Now, see, it's done good and it's gotten good and best because this hole's open, so I may move it, but I really like the hardwired connection because I haven't gotten lag. But yeah, so as we move to the left near the door. We have th these two things. This is for PS3 games. This is for Xbox games. I don't play PS3 anymore, so I'm going to sell all these and sell my PS3. You got some Xbox games right here. Hunger, Hunger Games movie, Elgato box, uh, Xbox games. And these really come in handy to hold DVDs and all that. We got some old, I think these are old batteries. A Sharpie. Uh, this can play music through it. And you can control off your phone, but it's broken. I got to return it. I bought it off an app named Daily Steals. It came broken, so sucks but um i should probably plug this in because this is like the razor color and i have some i have like two razor products and i got other stuff that's green a uh, light bulb that went in there um and then move to the left we got got some storage right here this used to be a storage closet um but it was in my room we got all that stuff over there don't worry this will all be cleaned out soon so i can have even a bigger setup maybe add some more things but here we have a beats by dre box ipad 4 box macbook pro box benq monitor stand that came with it uh science project science book don't know what that is this is to my old TV stand over there that I had. Uh, these water speakers broke. I don't. The freaking. Uh, they. I can't plug music into them because the little like output, the little outlet broke on it. So uh, I have a toothbrush. Okay. Uh, you got this green wire that goes in here, right here, and goes around just to. I'm not. I'm not sure why I did this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe they get more outlets. I'm not sure why I did that. But here we have like this little stand. I was going to put my Xbox and Mac on this, but then I realized I'm just going to leave it under there because the Ethernet cord can't go this far. So I don't know what I'm going to use this for. But we got a little uh, headset uh, transmitter right here. Uh, Elgato HD PVR. We got batteries charger for my headset right here. We got this, which connects to this. And if you guys, you, you should get one of these just in case if you get a lot of storms. Like, it's a surge protector, so you plug stuff in here so it won't uh, blow out. I should probably plug my Xbox into it so it doesn't fry. Uh, I'll do that later, but yeah. And then we have MacBook Pro 13-inch, uh, late 2011 edition. It's actually a nice laptop. Uh, it renders every single video I make for you guys. It's uh, made every single video that you've seen on my channel, my past channels. And then we got my Xbox right here. Hidden, MW3 edition, then a trash con, I don't know why I'm talking like that. But then we have my desk, my sexy mofo desk. Uh, or, or then we have my chair, but let's put this over here. Here's my desk, 
You see, it kind of looks girly. That's because it was a uh, I don't know. I just liked it because it was nice and small. It fit everything. I don't really pay attention to the design. It's like Tuscany. That's where my house is. But got the little drawer full of rain gum. This is the stuff. Rain and cold about five gum. Um, a razor stuff. Razor stickers. Uh, two Ethernet cords. Headphones. This to my monitor. This is my old mouse. Uh, USB drive thing to my old mouse. Uh, some Xbox games, my w old wallet, and then a little mouse pad that I used to use. But yeah, guys, let's get ready for the setup. Let's go. I got my blue snowball right here. Got my Samsung T246550 uh, computer monitor with the Razer background to match with my Razer Death Adder. And then my Razer Vespula mouse pad, double sided with a wrist rest right here. So it's really nice when I'm like doing editing or Minecraft or just browsing the web. It's nice to have this little thing right here because if I didn't have it, it would feel kind of weird and this just like rests it. It's kind of hard to get used to. It's taken me a couple days to get used to the mouse from having a small mouse. But now I feel the difference and it's amazing. Uh, double sided, you got one control side, so you just flip it and you go like this or like this. Oh god, death adder. But yeah, I'm going to put it on this side right now. Um, th I think this is the control side, but I'm not really sure. Why did that just open? But yeah, guys, the thing that I love about the Razer Death Adder mouse is that you have like this little app right here. Well, it's called Razer Scene, whatever that is. You open it up, and you get this thing right here. You can customize your mouse and everything. So I got three profiles editing where I can uh, I can open up Safari with the mouse click. Uh, iMovie with that and Photoshop with that. So I can have them open at all once. And you got performance, lighting, and all that. Then you got Minecraft. For Minecraft, I have uh, Audacity, ITV, and this Razer thing, just in case if I had to switch some more controls. I've got lighting, macro keys you can do. I still have to set up that. And you got all this surface speed and all that stuff. But if you want to quickly do it, you just go up to here, go to this. Then you go to one of those and you pick it. You can't really see it, guys. But then we have my BenQ RL2455HM gaming monitor. I got this for 180 bucks. It's really like 400 bucks. I got it off Amazon. Um, Amazon, guys, you can buy cheap tech from there. I really recommend doing it. I got Apple wireless keyboard, Razer Death Adder, like I said, Razer Vespula. Got my Xbox. All right, sorry guys for the pause. My camera died, so I had the so I had to charge it and wait to finish it. But this is my Xbox 360 controller, MW3 edition. I had the MW3 edition Xbox. I got it when MW3 came out, and we get these green CQB um, Xbox 360 control freaks. They're really nice. They're domed, so. Um, so your finger's not sinking in, it's on top, and you have faster reaction time. Then we got the squid grip, more grip on your controller, you can hold it better. Uh, I really like it, it's not slippery, so when you sweat, it soaks up the sweat and everything. Not really soaks it up, but it, it just prevents it. Then we got the Nyko, um, battery charger, as in, like, I... So, I have another controller right there, so when a battery pack dies, I take the charge one from there, put it on here, take the dead one, put it on there, let it charge. So, it's just a switch system, so it's pretty nice. Uh, really like my controller setup, and I showed you guys everything, just going to give you guys an overview, except for this. This is the Turtle Beach X42 headset. I really like this headset. It has nice surround, it has a nice surround system. I think it's like 5.1 or 7.1, I'm not really sure, but nice uh, mic, adjustable thing, and it's wireless. Just got this cable, talkback cable right here. And and you know, it's really nice. I like it, guys. Really comfortable. I picked these over the Astros, plus they're a little bit cheaper. And you know, I, I, I like Turtle Beach. I, I've just been with Turtle Beach for a long time. Then we got my schedule right here. Uh, here's everything. Here's a review. Just got everything right here. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, thank you. For 400 subscribers, we are at 403 subscribers, 12,052 views. And, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, I have to make a thumbnail for that video and for this video. But I'll see you guys next one. I'm out. Thanks for 400.